Good afternoon, and welcome to this special edition of Cat's Couch. Career and technical education has become a strong focus in the public education in recent years. As the needs of our society grow, it has become clear that a highly skilled workforce is extremely important in our communities. Career technical education, known as CTE, provides students of all ages with the academic and technical skills, knowledge and training necessary to succeed in future careers to become lifelong learners. CTE prepares these learners for the world of work by introducing them to a workplace competencies and making academic content accessible to students by providing it in a hands-on context. In fact, the high school graduation rate for CTE concentration is about 90%, 15% points higher than the national average. Today we will be interviewing teachers at the Career Academy and Technical School in Trauma, North Carolina. We will be looking at four programs that CATS offers and how they help students make a career out of something that they enjoy. First up, please welcome Mr. Gerald Klotfelter, the fire instructor here at CATS and also the assistant chief for trauma and fire and rescue here in North Carolina. Chief Klotfelter graduated from South Idaho High School and spent most of his career working for Bell South until his retirement in 2004. After retiring, he became an engineer firefighter for the city of Conover before deciding to share his knowledge with students joining the faculty of CATS in 2011. Thank you for joining us, Chief. Glad to be here. What inspires you to become a firefighter? Well, it's like most firefighters, it's uh, historic. Um, father, son, brother, uncles. And so my dad was a firefighter and it was just, I was at a fire station from the time I was a little kid and I knew that's what I wanted to do when I got bigger. So I was a volunteer for, and still a volunteer at Troutman for about, have been now about 40 years. How does your program prepare students for a career in firefighting? Well, we teach them all the basic skills that they need. We teach the program that is written by the Office of State Fire Marshal, which gives them all their modules and, and that lead toward a career as a firefighter. And so far it's been uh, very successful. It's hands-on and book learning. What do you believe makes a good firefighter? Well, dedication, uh, the willingness to help people, uh, the pride in the job that you do. Uh, it's not financially the most rewarding job, but from your other standpoints, it is one of the most re rewarding jobs that you can have. What life skills are learned in the firefighting courses? Well, we teach them all about the basics of firefighting skills, of course, but they learn how to deal with people, talk in front of crowds, uh, be kind to little kids and old women. So it's uh, very interesting to, to teach them how to do it. I think the biggest things is that honor, uh, pride, and integrity. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Next up, please welcome Ms. Kim Rogers, the nursing program instructor and the coordinator here at CATS. She has been a nurse for over 35 years and has worked in all areas of hospital, as well as office nursing, amusement park nursing, correctional nursing, long-term care, industrial nursing, home health care, and more. She has taught medicine-related courses in one form or another for over 40 years. She's been a high school health science teacher for the past 20 years and admits it's the best job she's ever had. Welcome, Ms. Rogers. Thank you. Why did you choose to study medicine? My sister was a nurse. I was a very premature baby and they were going to allow me to go ahead and die. And she decided that no, that was her sister and she wanted me maintained and here I am today. What made you to decide to become a nursing teacher here at CATS? I'd been teaching at the regular high schools and then when they said they were going to open the Career Academy, I thought this would be a great opportunity to deal with the young people and do something I really enjoy. And so I applied to do so and was accepted and been here ever since. What expectations do you expect from your students? Professionalism. I expect them to treat everyone as they would like to be treated. I expect all of them to pass our state CNA exam, but more than that, I just want them to learn to be good people. How does your program prepare students for a career in health-related fields? Well, most of the nursing programs and a lot of the physician's assistant and physical therapy programs require you to have your CNA before you are accepted into the program. And this saves our students a lot of money. This would be about $400 at the community college, and they get out with $100 or less for the entire program, plus they get their certification before they get out of high school. Thank you again for taking the time to join us. Thank you so much for having me. We're going to take a quick break, but don't you go anywhere. We'll be speaking with the instructor from the Auto Tech program and the television and film production when we return.
What are you looking at? More than half of people who die in car wrecks aren't wearing their seatbelt. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. Next, please welcome Mr. Michael Bowman. Mr. Bowman has been in the auto collision industry since 1997. As a full-time collision technician, he's also taught evening classes at Wilkes Community College for 17 years. He has also enjoyed teaching, and two years ago at the CAT School, we were lucky enough to have him join the faculty full-time. Why did you choose to decide to become a teacher? I've always enjoyed uh, teaching students this trade and giving them the, the background to make a livelihood for their future, for their, themselves and their family. How does the Auto Tech program prepare students for a future career in the field? Uh, it gives them the basic background knowledge for them to go into a job and be able to build on them skills and be successful. Why is career readiness important before accepting your first real job? Uh, just like I said, the, uh, the background knowledge that, that you get, there's so much to learn in this industry and with the cars always changing, you always got to keep learning and it gives you the background skills to be able to build on that knowledge. What kind of students succeed in the auto tech courses? A uh, very dedicated student, someone that enjoys working with their hands, someone that in, enjoys working on cars and uh, being able to make a career out of it. What inspires you to continue teaching? Uh, just basically being able to teach someone a skill that's going to be able to make them provide for their future and their family and giving them a solid background and a solid career uh, that's always in high demand. Nicely put. Thank you so much. And lastly, please welcome Ms. Tanya Tapazio, the instructor for film and television program here at CATS. Before becoming a teacher, Ms. Tapazio worked in Los Angeles and New York as a production coordinator and associate producer for the commercials, television, and new media. Currently, she teaches photography and film production, television studio production, animation, graphic design, and video editing. Welcome, Ms. Tapazio. Thank you for having me. How does this experience and training at CATS help students who want a career in film and photography? The training at CATS gives them the background on the fundamentals. So technology is going to change constantly, but personnel, um, procedures, and uh, how to frame a shot, for example, are, are fundamentals. And so that's what we teach here at the Career Academy. Does the production space at CATS give the students a good feel for what they will see in the film and television world? Absolutely. We have a very large Mac lab that they work with, so for editing, um, if they're doing graphic design or filmmaking or film editing, we have all the Adobe products, which are industry standard software that they will use. We also have a very large studio uh, with a full light grid, um, cameras, teleprompters, everything that they would need to get the basics to be able to walk onto a set and help out. What are some of your former students doing now? Uh, this is a fairly new program, so my students are just kind of hitting the uh, real world, if you want to say it that way. I've got students working in Los Angeles, New York City, Orlando, Charlotte, uh, and many, many more that are still in film school. Um, the North Carolina School of the Arts, um, Winston, uh, sorry, Wilmington School of the Arts, um, App State, uh, Chapman University in Los Angeles, they're all over the place. Do you believe that students could leave high school after taking these classes in film and division at CATS and get a job without attending college? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, we try as much as we can to do networking and get them introduced to people, get them internships where they can kind of start to build their, uh, their network of peers and colleagues that they could work with. Um, pretty much it's having that desire and the drive to be able to walk onto a set and almost work for free until you gain the respect of the people that you are working with and from there you've got that networking connection and they'll call you for job after job if you do well. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. That's all the time we have today. We'd like to extend a sincere thank you to all the instructors that took time out of their day to sit with us. These programs are only a sampling of what is available at our technical school and tech schools around the country. Students, please don't ever let anyone make you feel less than for enrolling in CTE courses. We need nurses, mechanics, producers, chefs, firefighters, EMTs, so take a chance, enroll in CTE course. Get skills to succeed in the future whether you are planning to attend college, a trade school, or go right into the workforce.
CTE courses can prepare you for what's next. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.